Hello, Gemini, and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Readings. Thank you very much, Gemini, for joining me. I hope you all had a fantastic day. So, Gemini, for this week's Tarot Reading, what do you need to know about a particular person? This could be someone that's new in your life. Perhaps it's an ex that's trying to return, but you're not 100% sure about this particular person. So, let's see what the cards have to say. Let's see what can they guide us in, advice that we need to take, anything at all. So, I'll also be offering an extended reading. So if this reading does resonate with you at a deep level, yes, I will be looking at the other person from their perspective, their point of view, and pulling our cards on their end. Let's get some clarity and some guidance. So if that doesn't resonate, if that resonates with you, it is the first link down below in the description box. Excellent. So let's begin. Gemini, for those who are new, welcome. My name is Gigi. I'm very happy to have you here. Let's see, what does Gemini, beautiful, gorgeous, and intelligent Gemini, what does Gemini need to know, please? In regards to a particular person, I'm not really sure about. We need some answers, please. One more. Excellent. One, two, and three. Behind the deck, mm. so we do have the Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Swords shows the energy of hitting rock bottom, feeling betrayed, there's sadness, there's anger, feeling, I'm going to even say, stabbed behind the back. <laughs> but you also have the Strength card. Have the strength and the courage to take care of yourself, to look after yourself, to try and get past this. Because this is also behind the deck, it's also telling you, Gemini, your sorrow, your pain is coming to an end because this rolls over to the Ace of Swords. If we split the deck here, what do we have? Look, we have the Knight of Wands, a transition and an offer that's coming towards you. It's coming with a lot of, a lot of fiery energy, a lot of passion, and you're going to be really, really excited about this. It's all about taking action. If a chance comes towards you, take it. Do not hesitate, Gemini. Two of Pentacles. See, you're indecisive about a certain someone. Yep. Mm. Perhaps even bored too. You also have death. So the Two of Pentacles. It's indecision. Something that you're not decisive about. You're juggling here. You're saying, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do about this certain situation here. There may be also issues with money here where you're trying to survive. You're trying to keep your head above the water, but instead of living, you're just surviving. This is just temporary for some of you that may be experiencing some financial difficulties. Perhaps money is going towards something, a goal, business. Money will improve, definitely. But at the same time, you're really indecisive in regards to your life, in regards to your love life, everything at the moment. If we look at the Four of Cups, there's a bit of boredom also. Feeling uninspired, thinking about the past a lot. So you may be even saying to yourself, oh, I wish I did this differently. I wish I did that. I wish things worked out. You know, there's perhaps even a, perhaps a little bit of sadness. But you also have the Death card. Now, the Death card can also mean the end of a situation. That's why you also have the Ten of Swords. There could, there could have been, for some of you, you may have experienced the end of a relationship perhaps. There may have been the end of anything that's currently happening in your life at the moment that's no longer serving you. You've got to remember when it comes to death, now this is not an actual death, but death doesn't care who is right, who is wrong. Death is impartial. If anything death wants you to do is to end that cycle and move on. Remember, death has your back. They want the best for you. The spirit team always wants the best for you. Let's have a look. Look at this now. Mm. Knight of Pentacles. Interesting. A very life-changing moment with the tower. Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. Look at this. So we do have a knight making an appearance. This knight, you can trust this knight. Absolutely, they're bringing something real and tangible to the table here. They mean business. They're not the type to play games. 
They're very responsible and very grounded. So this person's not coming in like really rushing in the sense, hey, do you want to be with me? No, no, no. This, this person's coming in very responsibly because they feel very sure about you, Gemini. Now, whatever is coming in, it's going to be either your surprise or your shock. Remember, the tower can go both ways. So obviously we need to take some clarifying cards, but something huge is coming towards you. It's going to be life-changing, a transformation here. Now you also have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles shows that there is someone that wants to protect you, someone that wants to provide for you. It shows, and the Ten of Pentacles, you've got to remember, it's a great card when it comes to money, finances, abundance. There's bliss all around you, Gemini. You also have the Five of Pentacles, the Rejection card, the Four of Pentacles, and the Hanged Man. There's a bit of a gray area here. If we go to the Five of Pentacles, you are feeling really rejected, Gemini. You feel left out in the cold. You feel that life is a little bit unfair right now. It also can be related to the Ten of Swords here. Now. Whatever's happened here, though, Gemini, whatever has happened here, now perhaps there may have been an ending. I want to go, we have death here. There may have been an ending with this knight that's coming here. It was quite a shock, and you're feeling a little bit rejected. And with the Four of Pentacles, you're keeping your cards close to the chest. At this moment, you don't really trust anybody, Gemini. You're keeping everybody at an arm's length and you're not revealing your next intention here, your next move. You're not revealing anything. Now, with the hanged man, the hanged man shows that we're not moving forward, we're not moving backwards. We're not looking things at a different angle in order to move on. With the hanged man, we need to adapt, we need to change, we need to sacrifice something in order to move forward. Even let go of something that's no longer serving us. We need to do something to get out of that hanged man you know, being suspended up in the air. Let's clarify this reading. There's definitely a lot going on here. Let's clarify. So we'll be using this card, this deck here. Let's find out more about this reading, Gemini. So what else does Gemini need to know about this reading, please? Let's get some clarity. Let's find out what is that you're so unsure of, especially with the two of pentacles. Let's have a look. Now, I do feel that there is another knight coming because you also had at the beginning the knight of wands, an opportunity that's coming your way. You don't know about this person yet. When I split the deck, we have a different knight here. Excellent. So just a reminder, Gemini, if this reading does resonate with you, there will be an extended where we'll go further into this reading. It will be available to rent or to purchase. And I'll go, we'll go definitely further. I'll get some clarity and I will be pointing, taking out cards in regards to this person. So I want to know further more their intentions and anything else we need to know. One, two, three. Let's have a look. What's behind this deck? Okay, we do have the Four of Wands. Excellent. So the Four of Wands is all about invitations. You could receive an invitation from somebody that you had a fallout with. Yeah, especially with the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords shows that there is conflict with a certain person. Again, I feel like it could be this person. So th there could be something affecting your current address, an invitation. If we split the deck here, yeah, you've got a history with this person, with the Six of Cups. Six of Cups shows that, oh yeah, you've had your ups and downs. You've known this person for a while, actually, a couple of years. You may know them from school, perhaps, an old job. But you definitely have, definitely, there's definitely a connection here with this person. The Two of Wands, also with the Ten. Of pentacles. There's an issue here with money. We have the Ten of Pentacles here and the Ten of Pentacles here. Now, there could be an issue where 
you feel you don't feel like this person's protecting you, nurturing you how you really want to, there may be money going somewhere where it's costing you quite a lot, Gemini. Perhaps it's going towards a lawyer. Perhaps it's, it's just going somewhere. And I feel like it's hemorrhaging your pocket. It's just money's going towards something. If we look at Four of Cups, also with the Strength card, Leo Energy, have the strength and they have the strength and the courage, I'm going to say, to tame any negative thoughts, to believe in yourself, to love yourself unconditionally, take care of your body and your mental health. Uh, strength card shows that there is going to be the return of good health. So if you haven't been feeling great, if you've been feeling lethargic, uh, just tired all the time, if you've been feeling pain, that's going to change. If we look at death, uh -huh. someone hasn't been very honest with you, Gemini, with the Seven of Swords. Someone's been going behind your back and there's been dishonesty, lying, cheating, not always cheating, but Someone that says, hey, I'm going here tonight, they tell you one thing and boom, they do the complete opposite. So I definitely feel, yeah, Jim and I, this is why death is here. A relationship has ended here because of lies and deceit. Your, your trust was definitely compromised here because someone was acting out of character. And usually, Jim and I, you're very good at picking this up. Because you've got really good, a deep connection when it comes to your intuition. You kind of know when someone's, you know, feeding you BS. You know that something's up. And your intuition was confirmed here. Because if you look at this car, why is this person stealing swords and sneaking out at night? Why do they have to go in the shadows and lie? Mm. Is this person, yeah, I like how they acted. If we look at the Knight of Pentacles, yeah. Here we go, the Four of Cups. This has come out twice now. This person's feeling really bored without you. They kind of miss you, I'm going to say. They really miss you. They're thinking about the good times. They're thinking about the fun times. So what do they want to do? They want to come back. Perhaps offer you the olive branch to say, can we get past this? It's like they want to offer you something real here. An opportunity, the tower. Let's look at the tower. Mm. There can be victory. Absolutely. The tower can show that there can be victory. It won't be overnight success, no. Because this is going to require a lot of time, patience to get through this. Because the six of wands shows that despite everything, you can still have victory, Gemini. You can still, believe it or not, have your own happiness. I need to take out another card. What else? Ace of Swords. You know exactly what you have to do, Gemini. Whatever tower moment is coming here, your shock or your surprise, you know exactly what you have to do. You're going to have that mental clarity, that mental perseverance on what to do next. The Ten of Pentacles also with the king of pentacles. So here we have a divine masculine. This person is represented by Capricorn or Horus or Virgo. So this is here, here is your person here with the ten of pentacles. This person probably has a lot of money. They may run their own business. And what do they want? Well, the big energy here, they want to protect you. They want to show you that they have changed. They want to open up their heart. With the five of pentacles, so they're going to contact you. There will be a message in regards to some form of rejection. What caused this breakup? So at the moment, I feel that your person is feeling rejected. They're feeling like left out in the cold. So they want to contact you. They want to reach out to you in regards to this. That's what's going on here. The Five of Pentacles. They're feeling really sad. The Four of Pentacles, also with the Queen of Cups. See, Jim and I, you must have a bit of water in your chart. You don't want to offer your heart just to anybody. No. You have strong boundaries. You have strong values. You're not going to tolerate any BS from anybody. That's why also with the Four of Pentacles, 
you're not revealing your next intention. Just remember also with the Four of Pentacles, it does also mention, especially the number four, to start planning. Get your affairs into order, especially your finances. Start to plan, start to budget, start to really make your money work for you, not the other way around. But you have strong boundaries. You're not going to tolerate any BS. The hanged man, ultimately, what do you want to do? You're willing to hear this person out with the six of pentacles. You want to, it's like you're being generous enough and you're saying, okay, you know what? I'm going to give you your five minutes to talk. So at the same time, you're being a little bit open. You know, you're willing to give this person a chance. It's like, okay, I want to hear what you have to say. I want to hear your explanation. But then we also have the nine of pentacles here. At the same time, Gemini, it's like there's a gray area here. You're not, like at the same time, especially with the six of pentacles, yeah, you're willing to give this person a chance. You might even consider taking this person back. At the same time with the nine of pentacles, you're like, but I'm also really happy being on my own. I'm really happy being just Gemini. So there is, as you can see, the scales, one's tipped more than the other. It's like a yes and a no. That's what it is. A yes and a no. You're not you're not saying yes, you're not saying no. It's the issue here. You're not saying yes or no. Ultimately, let's take out, okay, we have the Empress card. Ultimately, you do want abundance. You want abundance. You want that stability. That's what you want. And you're really thinking about your wants and needs at this very moment. Because remember, the Empress is the ultimate queen. All the queens wrapped up in one. It's a very fertile card. So I think you may even tell this person, I want family. I want stability. The things, and again, I can sympathize with you, Gemini. There's a lot of things that you want that haven't been met here. This person has been playing games, actually. So it will ultimately come down to what this person has to say. I do feel that. I'm going to take out two more cards. We have the chariot and also judgment. So the chariot is good news, like someone coming towards you, Gemini, and you're judging them. You're judging everything that they are saying. You're like someone in control, someone in the power position. You are the judge, the juror, and the executioner, and you're judging this person. Because the judgment and the chariot have come out together, it speeds up the pace. You're going to have an epiphany. You're going to know exactly what you're going to have to do with this person. Here we go, the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is a very fast energy. It's the fastest knight represented by Gemini energy. You're going to know exactly what you have to do. Here we go, Gemini and Virgo energy. You have the power to manifest anything. You can do literally anything. I do feel though, Gemini, because we have a lot of positive cards, you may give this person a chance to get out of this hanged man. But this will require this person to sit down and really talk. It's going to require a conversation. Absolutely. Is this person, mm, I feel like you, Gemini, you kicked this person to the curb. You wanted nothing to do with them because the way they, they acted. And now they're feeling like the victim. They're feeling rejected. Oh my God, I can't believe Gemini rejected me. I need to reach out. I need to do something. But at the same time, you're not tolerating any BS. If anything, you're really speaking from your head and from your heart here, what you really want out of this relationship. But let's find out more about this person. So I'm going to do now an extended and I will be pulling our cards on this person to see from their perspective and their point of view. Excellent. Thank you very much, Gemini, for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you at the next reading. Bye for now.